Hey guys, what's up? I'm back finally. I know it's been like four days, but it's been very hectic with all the Christmas dinners and we had to go see, uh, you know, my family, my boyfriend's family and all that good stuff. Then we had like three days back to back of Christmas shopping. Oh boy, do I look up right now. Okay, so today um, I'm going to do something kind of simple. And... I'm going to use I love that noise. I'm gonna use the James Charles palette. This is the big one. This is not the little mini with the mirror. This is the look, I still have my plastic sheet in there. Boom. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how happy I was about that. I was ecstatic, okay? And Tay, my boyfriend, Taylor, was so smooth about how we done it. He was like, oh, I have to go into, something about going into work early or something. He got up at like 5.30 one morning, which is normal time for him to get up. And him and my little sister drove, and I was like, wait, you're not taking my sister to work. So then, Abby slipped up and was like, yeah, we went to Cookville. Well, they went to Ulta and Cookville. Angus they got they got that palette and they were smooth about it but Abby wrapped it in like four layers of saran wrap and wrapping paper and boxes and it was it took me a minute to get out but I'm gonna use it today I haven't actually like used it when I got it that morning I've done some green and red Christmas eyeshadow but that's all that I've done uh so today we're gonna do like a I'm gonna say like a burgundy and like a really pretty nude color. I hope my hair got stuck in it. Oh. Y'all, this is not starting off good. Oh. Okay, let's get into it. Y'all, my hair, hold up. My hair's gonna gotta do something with this mess. Okay. Whew. It's still messy looking, but it looks better than what it did. All right, y'all. Oh. Mm. Y'all, my hair. Anyways, let me just, first off. We're just gonna pull it up into a little half bun. Ouchie. We'll do a little half bun. That'll work, right? If I don't quit pulling my baby hair, so she. Awesome. We're gonna roll with that. Boom. All right. So I've already done my eyebrows and I've already primed my eyelids. So now let's do eyeshadow. All right, so I did. Y'all, I am oh, excited. So excited. Okay, y'all. So first, we're gonna start off with some. Ah, uh, mm. I can't stop looking at. It. Look at that, y'all. It's so big. I can't even get my face around it. Look. Mm. I think. Let me see I'm better. Let me just. Oh. Mm. Okay, y'all. Let's go in with. We'll start with this color here. This one is. Get my little cheat sheet. Lord. If this one is called Punch Me. <laughs> so, let's. How do uh, beauty girls say? Let's dive in. Y'all, you know. My llama cup. Tay also got me that for Christmas. Um, I love llamas and alpacas. And Anthony looks like a llama or an alpaca. They're so cute. My mom was like, but they spit. They're nasty. I don't care. They're cute. All right, y'all. We're going to take this brush. It's kind of, it's bigger than an eyeshadow brush, but it's really fluffy. So I'm going to take that color, punch me, and put it all over my lid. Just to get the whole lid covered in that color. Ooh. 
Oof. Well, it feels good. But then again, in this cardigan, it is hot. I hope everyone had a really good Christmas. Um, I hope you all got what you wanted for Christmas. It has been raining. I didn't even know it was supposed to rain today, actually. Oh, are we good? Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay, y'all. We're going to take... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta get the glitter off this brush. Because I'm not trying to have that kind of glitter all over my face this morning. Okay, y'all. This looks kind of purple. But we're going to take this little brush, okay? Boop, 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 boop. Little shadow brush. And we are going to go into, um, okay, we're going to get into this burger, it looks really bright and vibrant, but we're going to go into this color, which is, I don't know, hold on, give me a second, I'll tell you, I'm going to have to remember these, y'all, just give me a minute, I'll do it, love that. I'd love that. I only have very few slide notes or very few of the names in here. Oh, whoa. Hello. Oh, yeah. That fallout's probably crazy, though. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Okay. We're going to get this all over the lid. Okay. We're just going to go all over the lid with that color. I don't know if I'm hot or cold. It feels good, but I want to take my cardigan off, but I don't know if I take it off, I'll get cold. Okay. So, once we have this all over the island, we are going to take... I thought I had a sneeze. That's some BS, y'all. I should reverse. I don't want to use that one. Okay. So, I look real, real dumb right now. So, I'm going to do. So, I'm going to take a lighter pink shade. We're going to go into Pinkity Drinkity, which is the light pink color. Right. Oh, the fallout. Which is that light color. And we're just going to blend it upwards, okay? I'm gonna try and bring this pink color up with the light pink. It's not really like do oh it's kind of doing something. It's gonna be very very vibrant because first off this palette is kick ass, okay? Such a pretty color though. Okay, so it kind of blended up. It's not as vibrant, but it's still a very light pinky color on top of my lid. Okay. So, oof, that didn't really work out like I wanted it to. So, I'm gonna flip it around and i'm gonna bring this pink color up further and then i'm gonna add a purple how about that hmm. how how about that so we're gonna go back into the darker pink shade love that and we're gonna bring it up 
And then we're going to go into the purple shade. Escape. And then we're going to put that in the crease. Wow, that's such a pretty color. And I'm not big on like pinky colors. This is a pretty color. Oh yeah, I'm satisfied. And then we'll just add darker colors as far as we, like the further we go down the uh, So we're just gonna, there we go. Okay, boom, I like this. I like where it's going. I didn't even put it on my paws. Paws. Back with the little, this brush, okay? Back into that shade. Dab off the excess. Back all over the lid. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to take this little blendy brush right here, the fluffy brush. We're going to get just a little bit more of that color. And we're going to make sure that everything is up here and it's real, like, smoothed out. Because you don't want it looking chalky. And it looks really, like, like right here, blended out where it's kind of smooth at the top. It looks chunky. So we need our left eye to look like the right eye. We're gonna take this off and we're gonna get some more of the light pink of pinkity drinkity. And we're gonna go with that. There we go. Let's get that. Look at ours. Okay, so we're gonna bring that up actually just a little bit more. Yeah, if you have jingling or something moving, it's Jax. He's on the bed. See, he's stretching. I love my baby. Okay. So now we're here. We're going to go into the we're going to start off with the lighter purple, which is not called escape, it's the dark purple. The lighter purple is called single. So we're going to take the fluffy brush that we just used and we're going to dip it in that light purple. It's not really like extremely light, but. And we're just going to go in the crease of it. I don't know if you can tell the difference from here, but like up close, you can already tell a real big difference. Okay. You can kind of tell the difference. Now we're going to go into that dark purple shade called Escape. And we're going to also put that in the crease. I guess we're gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do a halo look or not. I don't think it hurt. We could do a halo look today. 
I don't think that is actually quite simple, and I would not mind that at all. Okay. Gonna go back in with the purple shade. Corner. Okay, now we're going to take the purple and we're going to hit on the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye. Not like the inner corner where you would usually put shimmers, but the inner corner of your actual eyelid. Just so we can have a little bit more of the halo effect. I almost went to the wrong palette, y'all help me. Hmm. Okay. Just go over with it like that. But you do want to make sure it's still blended pretty okay. Because you don't want it looking real choppy. Okay, that's good. That's that's a actually a pretty good example. I'm actually surprised it looked that good for a second. Okay. All right, so we're here. We're this far. Um, now I don't know how I want to go with this. All right, I want to take a dark brown, and I want to put just a le like a little bit, um, over the purple. So we're going to take this little brush, this little stubby brush, okay, and we are going to, hold up, okay, and we're going to go into a dark brown. Um, I want to suggest taking like a, a dark, dark brown first. I'm going to go into like a lightish brown, like a, there. That's kind of orange, but we're just going to barely go over the purple. Cause it gives it the the reddish raspberry look, like the dark raspberry look. I actually like it. It's looking completely different in my mirror than it is on my camera, and I'm like, mm, I don't love that. Okay. 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 I'm not mad at it. Then in a minute, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and try to blend it out. Because you don't want to have this really pretty pink purple eyeshadow and then just like a weird half circle just sitting there. Because that looks weird. So now, I'm going to take fluffy brush. And we're going to just blend. I got my little mirror all up. Okay. 
Boom. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're actually going to go in that purple just a little bit. Boom. Okay. Now, we are going to go in with the black. And I love the black in this palette because I did try that out. And it is black. So, we're going to do... Take the little stubby brush I just had, this one, and just get like a little bit of black on it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Look, I'm mad at it. Okay, get all this blended in. Take a little bit of pink. Okay, now we're going to take the bright, bright, bright pink in the palette, which is the very bottom right shade called Skip. Now, I'm going to take Elf Flippy Brush, okay? Make sure I get that black off the tip of it. So we're just going to take this fluffy brush I just had. And we're going to dip into this pink. The bright pink. Where? Just barely. Go on the top outer edge. Okay. Back on the pink. See, I'm not big on pink eyeshadow, but I'm actually not mad at this at all. So now we're going to cut the crease. And after I cut the crease and I do a halo look, I usually have to go back over the actual dark look about three or four times. And a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just get it done the first time? Well, because I want it to look good to my standards. It's like, oh, hey, you know, don't look like crap. And I'm really picky about how stuff looks. So I'm concealer on the back of my hand. Get a flat brush. Okay. And then I usually only just get the very top of the brush done. Hold on. I just told me I can't mess this up, y'all. Okay. Okay, it's not looking bad. I do this very, very easily. Hello? Xbox screaming at me. So I'm not going to do the whole eyelid, but go about right there and then repeat on this eye. Okay. 
So, this is what your eyelids should look like. Something similar to what mine look like. But, I don't do my whole eyelid because the inner corner and outer corner are just going to get covered up by a purple and a black. So, I don't go all the way. I'll get pretty close, but I won't go all the way. Okay. So now, get this off my hand. <sighs> we're going to take this color, or Lord, we're going to take this brush. And then we're going to get the, um, this pink color, the bright pink color that we literally just had. Actually, I'm going to get the little stubby brush and we're going to get in that bright pink color. Okay. So, oh, so we're going to get into that and we're going to go. Why, why is it not showing up like I wanted to? Okay, you can kind of see it now. Okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. Now it's showing up really good. Okay, there we go, y'all. So there's that. And we're gonna do the same on this aisle. All these colors are so bright and just like all in your face and I love it. Cause using bright colors like this was extremely out of my comfort zone until I'd gotten those palettes from ColourPop and they're all different colors. And it's like each color has its own palette. And I've done a look with every color. And I love it. Okay. So now we're going to take the stubby brush and go into that purple, the dark purple. Okay, we're just going to go right behind the pink. Why does it look black? Am I tripping? Y'all, that looks black. That's purple. Okay. Just. Are y'all seeing this? Because I don't know if I'm losing my mind. I'm not sure what's happening at the moment. Purple, purple, purple. Okay. I guess it's just that extremely dark. So, like I said, I'll go back up and make this darker as I go. See, that's why I always go back over because it looks pretty good. Same way with this, huh? I guess it's really just that dark. On top of the little bit of black that's there and a little bit of purple. But we're gonna go darker than this purple. We're gonna go back in with the black. And then 
Then we'll be done and we'll have a shower. Okay. I do not take this uh, blendy fluffy brush and get a little bit of purple and do blend that in some up here. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all, look at this. Yo. Yes, I am. So good. Okay, y'all. We're getting somewhere. Okay, y'all, I'm getting really excited. I'm getting. Ooh. Okay, so. I've got some sign, okay? Because I'm going to draw myself inside. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit more of that pink. Add more pink. A little bit more vibrant. Where well, I've added purple. Okay, y'all. Okay. Yes, my home. Okay. We're going to get the black. So, okay. Stubby brush, still black. Outer corner. Far outer corner. I'm just gonna put it in there. Kind of make a triangle. So you put it and then you just go this way and then you go up and down. So it's like a curvy triangle. Or we'll say like a like a like a right angle. Just like like that. It's the best way I can explain it. I'm at it. But still, we're gonna have to blend everything. Okay. I know some of y'all are like, honey, you just need to stop. Just give me a second, okay? Let me show y'all. I got this. That's so why it takes me literally forever to do my makeup because my process is so different from a lot of people's process. There's okay, boom. I should have boom. Smack the song, smack the song. No, ma'am. It's not that easy for me. Uh, uh, excuse me. Every time I do this, I have to burp. I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna take that purple on the fluffy brush. And, okay, look y'all. This cardigan's coming off. Oh, it is hot. Oh, okay. Take the purple and blend. And the fan's coming on. It is hot. It got hella hot real quick. I hope I can still hear me. Okay. <gasps> all right, look, y'all. I'm telling you, it's all coming together. All of it. Back again with the pink. All right, y'all. 
Now, on to the shimmers. I don't really know um, what shimmers I want to use. Oh, yes, ma'am, I do. All right, we are going to take the little concealer brush, and I'm going to dip into the lightest peak shade that is called Sister. So, really light colored. Okay, cardigan's going to come. I'm telling y'all I have lost my mind. I don't know if it's hot. I don't know if it's cold. Cardigans are going to go on. I have had a real obsession with cardigans here lately. Like I'm telling y'all, it is pitiful. Cardigans everywhere. Jackets everywhere. Vest everywhere. I don't know what's happening to me. Okay. Alright. So, we have that really light pink shade called Sister. And we're going to apply it all over where the concealer is. But, um, don't go over too far. But make sure it's... Y'all. This shade. Y'all. Yeah. I'm Sister Shook. I'm Sister Shook. Oh... Y'all, y'all have got to be seeing this right now. Oh my goodness. Sister Shook. We're just gonna. Okay. Alright. I, I just. I can't. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all. Okay. Let me just. Okay, hold up. Y'all just. Y'all gotta give me a second. Cause I am mind blown right now. Okay. You're just gonna have to. There's no way it is looking that good right now. No. Oh. Y'all, I am literally shook to the core right now. This is so pretty. Okay. I need to calm down. Cause I'm getting rough. Shock. Okay. 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 All right. I'm shook. Okay. 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 Y'all, that is blind. All right. So now we're going to go into <gasps> We're going to go into the white shade, which it's not really white, but it, it's like a it's like a pretty shimmer cream color, which is called ring light. And I'm going to put that directly in the middle of that shimmer to make that shimmer Y'all. Are y'all going <sighs> Hold up. I'm going to cover the co color I just put on. Because this one is so blinding. Shook it. Shook it. Shook it. I know these videos of mine are literally four hours long. I'm sorry. Not really, but kind of. Okay, so now we're going to take the light purple color. Boom, on the fluffy brush. 
the other fucker brush, okay? And we're just going to go around this, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. All right, so now I think the last thing I'm gonna do is take, um, I'm going to take the bright pink color and I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna go back over the outside. I'm so loving this right now. Y'all don't even understand. I'm like, yes, ma'am, honey. Go back into the purple. I, I told y'all this is going to be a long process. Y'all didn't listen to me. Back into the purple. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, back into the dark purple, the dark purple. Okay, okay. Okay, so now to prevent the chunk, like the chunky looking where it's not blended, so it's like the dark color separate from the light color, you are obviously going to want to blend it. So I suggest taking a lighter, like the, the first color we used, which was this burgundy looking color, take that and use that to blend those two colors. It's kind of like a, a meat in the middle type thing. So you're still gonna see the brown or the the dark colors, the dark purple and the black, but it's not gonna be so choppy. So keep putting this on until you are happy with how it looks, or until completely blended. Okay. Mhm. Mm I mean, I just I don't care how long I have to sit and blend. I'll do it until my daggum hand falls off. Okay. It still looks like chunky, but hold up. Okay, it's not looking too bad now from that angle. And then I'm going to go over and do the shimmer one more time. Just make sure I get it really pretty and shiny and exactly how I want it. Boom. All right. Y'all, this still looks... Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to fix this. This is going to bother the absolute piss out of me. Okay, concealer. Oh, no, I put shimmer on that. No, ma'am, I'm not going to do that to myself. No, I'm about to do that to myself. Okay. But I just... Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all just watch me. Y'all probably think I'm on bath salts or something right now, but I'm really not. But what I am gonna do, so I'm gonna try and fix. That now. What I'm going to do next is the first fluffy brush that we had. When we put that one color all over our lid, I'm going to grab that specific brush again, and I'm going to use that to blend. I'm just gonna run it back and forth. 
So it gets the product on the 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 brush, but it will blend to the best of its abilities. Those colors. I know it just okay. Ooh. I have all my makeup just like sitting, just waiting to be used. Okay. Okay, so the top part's good. Now I'm just gonna go back to the concealer. I don't know about eyeliner. I can't do eyeliner when I'm doing this because I make myself nervous and I mess up. This is blinding uh, shimmer on there in shade ring light. <gasps> Okay, then we're gonna get the pink, put that back right there in the inner corner. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna do the eyeliner. I'm just gonna I have the hiccups now, y'all. Obviously, I don't want to leave it choppy, so we're just gonna blend very slightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, easily on. Now, for this next part, we're going to take the fluffy brush, which I don't think I have like a little smudger brush. Oh, I do. Hold on. Hold y'all. Hold the phone. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we're going to take um, the fluffy brush we use for most of this, this one, and we're going to take um, the color Pinkity Drinkity, the really extremely light pink, and we're going to put that uh lower lash line okay and um we're gonna take a smudger brush which i will i'll show you what that is in a second okay um get the smudger brush now actually we're gonna use the fluffy brush one more time and get the extremely light pink or the vibrant pink the bright pink go over what we just done with the pinkity drinkity this is shade skip the bright one is yeah okay mm, there we go Okay, now the smudger brush. The smudger brush looks like this. It's very short, very dense, and it's flat. Flat across the top. You see that? Flat. And about that width. So we're going to take the dark purple on the smudger brush. And we are going to um, go right where like our lashes are not on the waterline but where the lashes are it's gonna make it look like a little smoky eye then after the purple we're gonna add black i don't even know if you can see me right now
It does say on top about the smug, you, you'll understand more when the black's on there and it smokes everything out. But let's go take the brush under the lashes. And hit your uh, lower lash line. And when I mean under your lashes, I mean literally take the brush and go underneath. Babe, you see when I'm talking about, I don't want to close my eyelids and show my bottom lashes. I don't understand it. Now, take the same brush, get into the black. black is on there get all the access off all right back under the oh there we go boys it is now smoked out back to the fluffy brush get that hot pink on there and just go right back underneath the lash line okay there we have it Okay, everything smoked out. Now we're gonna do mascara. Pop on some lashes. Okay. We're already at an hour. We're at an hour, y'all. So, this was literally just my eyeshadow. I'm telling y'all, it takes me forever to do my makeup. Y'all don't believe me. My boyfriend hates it. So, um, I'll throw on some mascara. And then this will be the end of the first video. And then I'm probably going to do a second video. Oh. I actually get so mad at myself sometimes when I'm doing my mascara. Because my lashes used to be so long and pretty. And then I started doing my makeup all the time. And... I have this thing, I can't remember the name of it, but I, I pull out all my hair. So, like, I'll pick out my eyebrow hair, I'll pick out my, um, my eyelashes. Like, I'm constantly just pulling hair out. It's, I can't remember the name for it, but I do that. And I used to not have to wear fake lashes, but now I do. Because it looks like I have lashes. And I don't know. Wow, I thought it was a good idea to start picking out all of my lashes. And my eyebrows. But something told me that that was okay. And y'all probably just seen them, but I don't care. Oh, eyeball. So I always use two different mascaras. We're gonna use this one next. Look y'all, I'm cheap. I use cheap shit. Um, as far as like mascara and stuff. Now my eyeshadow foundation, all that's a little more expensive. I definitely spend the most on eyeshadow. For sure. Not one doubt. That and brushes. Don't. I have so many 
makeup brushes. It is unreal. Like, it's a bit pathetic. I don't know why they're trying to look clumpy today, but I'm not okay with that. I don't know what the little trend is with clumpy eyelashes, but I'm not behind it, honey, okay? Sister, stop. Because you look like a sister spider. And you look sister stupid. That's just my opinion. Now, I have seen some girls wear it and it not look completely atrocious. But others, not so much. Anyways, y'all, this is the first video of just my eye makeup. Next video is going to be my complete face, contour. Highlight, all that stuff. I already have my lashes popped on, but I will see you real soon.